till the last video we have completed till this point we have completed we have covered this point in today's video we will see this point so the number system what are the number system that we use in our digital uh, uh, web from our digital communication and then what is the de uh, decimal number system what is the binary number system how to represent them then how to convert from decimal to binary or from binary to decimal and last we will see the, some operation on this binary number system that is the mathematical that is arithmetic operation so using all these points our first chapter will complete that digital electronics principle so let's start from here the number system so in uh, digital signal we use various types of number system because the digital signal only takes some a level of signal means either it will take some value 0 or 1 for that we can use either any of number system that is either in decimal or in binary or in octal or in hexadecimal so let's see what is decimal number system we all are using in our day to day life that the decimal number system means this is the top that is the deci it means it has 10 digits from 0 to 9 ok so each digit has some weight has some significant value suppose this is a 0 then 1 then 2 like this 9 and when I want to write 10, then how I can write 10? I have to use any combination of these two to write a two digit number. For writing 10, I have to use this two number, that is 1 and 0. For writing 59, I have to use that 5 over here and 9 over here, I have to write 59. And till 99, I can use the combination of any two. Now, if I want to write a three digit number, then what I have to do? I have to take a combination of any three. Suppose 435. For 100, 43 for using any uh, for a three digit number i have to use combination of three so for three digit i can write from one 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 hundred to triple nine for here 10 to 99 for here it is zero to nine okay this seems much easy but we have to know this decimal conversion so that we can use our decimal concept for our further case for binary and the for conversion Okay, so this is the basic in decimal system. So what are the weight? If I am writing 529, what are the weight of 5, what are the weight of 2 and what are the weight of 9? So how this 529 can be written? It is nothing but 5 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 9 into 1. So if I combine it will become 529. So which is nothing but 5 into 10 power 2 plus 2 into 10 power 1 plus 9 into 10 power 0. 10 power 0. It means in a decimal number system, these are the weights. These are the weights. So, what is the weight of 5? Which is nothing but 10 power 2. What is the weight of 2? Which is nothing but 10 power 1. What is the weight of 9? Which is nothing but 10 power 0. Okay. So, these are the weight. So, if a number, it is only a decimal number. Suppose a fractional number is also there. 143.139. Suppose this is a number. Then what are the uh, um, weight of this number? For this 3, which is nothing but 10 power 0, which is nothing but 1. For this 4, it is 10 power 1, which is nothing but 10. For this 1, it is 10 power 2, which is nothing but 100. Okay. And after the decimal, these powers will be the inverse of 10. Means it is nothing but 10 power minus 1. Pass, uh, which weight is 10 power minus 1? It is 10 power minus 2. What is the weight of fractional number after this 9, this 9, which is nothing but 10 power minus 3. Okay. So you see... This is the weight of different numbers in digital system in de decimal conversion that is 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2 like this way. I have to increase my power of 10 and in this way I have to decrease my power of n means power of 10. Here you can see it is decreasing minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here it is increasing 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this is the decimal number system. Now let's see what is a binary number system. As this decimal number system, we can also represent our digital signal or digital world from using binary number system. De uh, decimal means using this 10 digits 0 to 9. So in binary means there are only two digits that is 0 and 1. That is also one simplest method to represent a digital signal. Okay. So in binary number system, there are only two digits 0 and 1. Okay. So for 0, this value is 0. For 1, this value is 1. Okay. Now if I want to write, if I want to proceed further, I want to write 2. I want to write 2. Then how I can write? I have to use the combination of these two. These two number, combination of these two. Since there are n number of input, how many possible number of combination? 2 power n. 
means two number means four possible combination means what are the possible combination zero 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 one one zero one one okay so using these two this is same as zero zero this is same as zero one and what are the next value it will become one zero one is nothing but one one okay so one zero means two one one means three now if i want to write four and further then i have to use a combination of this two two into three way means i have to take three digit 0 if you will see this four already occupied this three you see zero is same as zero zero is same as zero 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 one is same as zero one same as zero zero one this one one which is same as this one one which is nothing but this zero one one then my this value will become four this value will become five this value will become six this is nothing but seven okay so if you will see if there are n number of digits then how many possible uh, binary signal binary number that i can get that is nothing but in 2 power n minus 1 using this n binary digit i can get 2 power n minus 1 decimal values these are nothing but binary digits or i will call it bits yesterday in the last video i told this is binary and this t digit from this t it is combining gives me bit which is nothing but in terms of 0 and 1 okay so using n bits i can form 2 power n minus 1 decimal number so let's take n equal to 5 if there are 5 number of bits then how many possible decimal number can we form that is nothing but 2 power 5 minus 1 so 2 power 5 means 2 4 6 8 sorry 2 4 8 16 32 32 minus 1 which is nothing but 31 maximum decimal number that can be formed using this 5 is nothing but 31 which is nothing but 1 1 1 1 1 this is the maximum decimal number using this 5 uh, five, di 5 digits or 5 bits so this value if, I, if we later we will see how to convert this binary to decimal we will see this value will give me a value 31 so remember using n bits we can make 2 power n minus 1 de decimal number so this is the higher decimal number if you will increase n value accordingly 2 power n minus 1 number decimal value will get okay so this is how binary numbers are different then if i want to write 8 then i have to add 1 over here again 100 1001 means it is 9 1010 means it is 10 1011 means it's 11 one one double zero means 12 like this one 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 means 15 you see there are four bits four bits means 2 power 4 minus 1 so 2 power 4 means 16 minus 1 which is nothing but 15 so this is the decimal value 15 that i'm getting maximum using this four okay so this is the representation of binary number system now we'll see the weight of a binary number system like in uh, decimal case the weights uh, what are the weights 10 power 0 10 power 1 10 power 2 and for the uh, fractional part it's 10 power minus 1 10 power minus 2 similarly in this binary system also the weight are uh, divided into the power of 2 means if a number is our binary number system if this is a number 10 10 1 0, 1, 1, dot 1, 0, 1, 0. suppose this is a binary uh, in using binary number system a number is given then what is the weight of this one which is nothing but 2 power 0 what is the weight of this one 2 power 1 this is 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 and last this is 2 power 5 ok this is my LSB lowest significant bit if I take only the uh, this part this is the LSB and this is my MSB and if I take the decimal point after that this is for decimal point this is the MSB this is the LSB. Okay. Now, this is the 2 power 0 and increasing 2 power n towards this side. Towards from right to left. If I am moving, then I have to increase my power of 2 like 2 power n. What are for the decimal, after the decimal part, which is nothing but 2 power minus 1. This is nothing but 2 power minus 2. This is nothing but 2 power minus 3. This is nothing but 2 power minus 4. Because 2 power 0 already occupied, so we have to decrease our value after the 0. So 2 power minus 1 means 1 by 2 power 1 which is nothing but 1 by 2. 
2 power minus 2 means 1 by 2 power 2 which is nothing but 1 by 4. 2 power minus 3 means 1 by 2 power 3 which is nothing but 1 by 8. 2 power 4 means 1 by 16. So what will be the value which is nothing but 0 0.5. 0 0.25. 0 0.1 by 8 means 125. 16. 0.6125. And the next value 1 by 32 that is 2 power 5. If one digit, one other digit is there whose power, weight will be 2 power minus 5 which is nothing but 1 by 32. So that it will come 0 0.3036 uh, then 40 again 1 like, like this value it will come. Okay. So for here it is 2 power 0 means this is nothing but 1. This is 2. This is 2 power 2 means 4. 2 power 3 means 8, 2 power 4 means 16, 2 power 5 means 32. So like in this way, our power of 2 is increasing uh, towards the left and power of 2 is decreasing towards the right. You can see, after this point, you just uh, forgot about the first LS, the LSV point, then this and this, you can see these are nothing but, this value is nothing but 1 by, whatever the value will be here, that will be one, reverse of this one, 1 by 2. This value is nothing but 1 by 4. 8 means it is nothing but 1 by 8 which is nothing but 0 0.125. So the power that is increasing 2 power uh, with the increase in value 2 power n, this is nothing but 2 power decrease in value 2 power 2. And this side it is nothing but doubling the power. You see here it is 1, it is 2, it is multiplied by 2, 2, then multiply by 2, 8, then 16, then 32. And this side it is dividing by 2, 0.5 divided by 2, 0.25. 0.25 divided by 2 which is nothing but 0 0.125. 0 0.125 divided by 2 which is nothing but 0.6125. So in towards the right, my uh, that powers weight are decreasing that is by half and this side increasing by with a power of 2. Okay. So the, the, our binary number is used to count a number. It means that I told in earlier case that 1001 means that 1001 means I am counting it as a 9. That we will see how we can count this number. So, the binary digit can be used to count the number. So, let's take one small example that will we'll see how the numbers that are counting. So, these are the weights that how our binary number are weighted uh, with a power of 2 and with a decreasing power of 2. So, remember we will use this concept while finding the binary to decimal conversion or decimal to binary conversion. Okay. Let's take a conveyor, a conveyor bed. This is a conveyor bed which is rotating like this and upon which some balls are present, some tennis ball that balls are present. Okay, and here is one box to which these balls are falling. When this conveyor is rotating like this, bed is rotating, this ball it will fall directly into the box. And there is a sensor that is present. So the sensor will sense the number of balls that is fall into this box. Okay, so this is the output of the sensor in terms of pulse. So this is the first ball, this is the second ball like this, like it is the ninth ball. Suppose there are nine balls present. Okay, nine balls that are coming. Three, five, seven, eight, nine. Let's take and it is the number of balls that is shown. It's the eighth ball, it's the ninth ball. Okay, this is the output of the sensor. A sensor is present, it will sense the number of balls that is falling into the box. Then this output of the sensor is connected to a counter. What is a counter? A counter is a sequential circuit which uses flip-flop. So there are actually there are two types of circuit. One is sequential circuit, one is combinational circuit. All these things you will read in your if you if you are an electronics engineer, then you will read all these subjects in your course and or in third set. That is in digital electronic circuit. DEC you will read all these. What is sequential? What is combination? But for our basic electronics, we are not required just, just for this example, I am telling this a counter which function is to count number of balls that is present and sequential output will give, would provide. So there are four parallel paths. There are four parallel paths that are connected over here. Across this parallel path, uh, our output will come and after the parallel path, a decoder is there. Here like in sequential and combination circuit, sequential circuit means the output will come sequentially one by one after another and it uses flip-flop. There are flip-flop, there are latches, there are all sorts of certain things that is needed for this electronics engineer for their digital communication. 
digital electron circuit so just just remember this counter uses sequential circuit and this sequential circuit uses flip flop there are various type of flip flop jk flip flop sr flip flop okay but don't worry about now don't worry about these things right now just remember this counter will count the number of input and accordingly it will produce output and there are four parallel path so across the four parallel path our out my output will come like this 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 like this okay this is the then here is alternate 0 alternate 1 alternate 0 alternate 1 0 1 at this in the next stage of a counter a counter the output will be two zeros and then two ones then two zeros then two ones okay zero zero one one then zero zero again one one at the third stage of counter it will take four zeros and four ones so this is the function how counter works and at the last stage it will give me a value all zeros means 8 0 and 8 1 if any other term is present since here are 9 balls 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the ninth point is nothing but 1 2 let's take starting value is 1 then 1 0 1 0 1 0 then again 1 0 then next value will be 1 your see this is the first ball second ball third ball fourth ball 5 6 7 8, 9, this is the 9 ball. Okay. Similarly, here there are 4, first 2, 0, 2, 1, then 2, 0, 2, 1, and next ball will be 0. Here 4, 0, 4, 1, next ball will be 0. Here 8, 0 means next one will be 1. Because alternate is there. Here alternate 0, 1. Here alternate, after 2 interval, alternate 0, alternate 1. Here after 4 interval, alternate 0, alternate 1. 4, 0, then 4, 1, then there will be 4, 0. Means this first value, which is the ninth value, is 0. In the fourth stage, which is nothing but 8, 0 and 8, 1. And since I am worried about the ninth value, which is nothing but 1. So, if you see how a parallel, uh, this parallel transfer occur, this is the sender side, this is the receiver side. In the last video, I told this is the parallel connection where are many number of lines are there. And one pulse, this is one pulse, this is one pulse, this is one pulse is sent at time interval T0 to T1. Because parallel transfer, it takes less time but it uses more number of lines. Okay. So, what is the output? The output will be combine these four pulses. The output will be over here. Similarly, in this case, the output will combine these first four cases. The first four. What is the first four cases? 1, 0, 0, 0. So, 1, 0, 0. Sorry, means the output will take from here to here. 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 0, 0, 0, 1 means the value is 1. Okay, the output will take this value first, then this value, then this value, then this is the LSB. This is the MSB. This is the LSB. This is the MSB. Okay. What will be my second value? 0, 0, then 1, 0. Means 0, 0, 1, 0, which is nothing but a value 2. Similarly, the third value it will come a value 3. Similarly, the fourth value it will come 4. Like this, the last value, which is nothing but you see 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. It is nothing but a value 9. Okay, 1, 0, 0, 1 means a value 9. So, an output of the decoder, which is connected to a 7 segment display. 7 segment display. So, the 7 segment display, it will display the number digit that is present. So, when the first 4 input it will take, the decoder, it will produce a 1. So, this is the 7 segment display. If you remember, I told in the last video for first module. So for one, this light will glow, this light will glow. Similarly, for five, this, 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 this five light will glow. And for nine, it will glow all light except this one. Okay. Similarly, uh, for each and every number, for one to nine, all my output, that is my seven segment display will go, glow accordingly to the inputs given to the decoder. And this is how my binary numbers are counted. You see, this is the, how we are counting. So when 1, 0, 0, 1 is coming, we are counting 9. So you can see the 9, 9 number of ball are there. So what I make sure I am getting 9. Okay, this is one small example how binary numbers are counted. Don't worry about this counter decoder. Just remember how this process works. These are the input given this to the parallel stage. And this is the output of the 7 second display. So now... Now, how to this convert our binary number into decimal number? Suppose I have a number 1011, 
0.1.01. Suppose I have a binary number like this. Binary number means it has a base 2. And decimal number means it should have a base 10. So how this, we have to convert this number into decimal. Means we have to multiply each digit with its weight. So what is the weight of this one? It is nothing but 2 power 0. This is 2 power 1. This is 2 power 2. This is 2 power 3. 2 power 4, this is 2 power 5 dot 2 power minus 1, 2 power minus 2, 2 power minus 3. Remember all these uh, means powers or limit uh, powers or the weight so that it will become easy for you to calculate while in exam. So then what we, can, we have to do? We have to check where my 1s are present because I have to write 1 into 2 power 5 plus 0 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0 dot that is the de de after decimal point the decimal number there is uh, this fractional part will come then 1 into 2 power minus 1 then plus 0 into 2 power minus 2 plus 1 into 2 power minus 3 okay if you will not remember the power or the process, it will take much time like here I took so long time to write this expression. Okay. So what is the simplest way? You have to remember what is the power of each location. And then only you have to multiply the power of that location with the 1. You see, whatever the value that will come multiplied by 0 means 0. This value will give me a value 0. This value will give me a value 0. So I, honestly I wrote all these three values. Okay. So while in exam if it is given to binary to decimal conversion, you can use this method, but for checking your answer, you have to only multiply 1 in 2 power 5. So 2 power 5 means 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So 32 is first one. Plus, this path is 0, means 16 is uh, removed from here. It is 8. Because for 16 there is no term, then it is 8. Plus, this is 4. Plus, this path will be 0. This is nothing but 2 power 1 means 1. Sorry, uh, 2 power 0 means 1. This is 2 power 0, which is multiplied by 1. This is 2 power 1 multiplied by this 0. Will not give me a value. Then dot. This is nothing but 2 power minus 1. Means 0 0.5. Plus, it, it should be 0 0.25. But here the uh, strength is 0. Means it will give me a value 0. Plus, this is 2 power minus 3. Means 8. Means 0 0.125. You have to remember the powers. Like 2, 4, 8, 6, 30, 16, 32. 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, like this you have to remember. And for the fractional part, up to 3 to 4 number is enough. Four. So you see, if you will add, this is 40, 44, 45. So this is 45. Point, if you will combine these two, this is point 0 0.625. 625. Okay. So this binary number will give me a decimal number, which has a base 10, because this is a decimal number base 10 and this is the number 45.625 okay so this is how a binary number is converted into decimal number now we have to now we have to convert our decimal number into binary number suppose i have a number 109.65 suppose any number decimal number is given that is base 10 base 10 means it is decimal number we have to convert this number into uh, binary. Okay. So there are two methods. One is sum of weight. Second one is continuous division by two. Let's first take for the uh, digital. Yep, first part then we will see for the fractional part. Okay. So suppose uh, any number is given, let's take a small number so that it will become easy to understand. Let's take a number 39. This number is decimal part is given, I have to find that number in binary. That is base 2. So there are two methods. So let's take first method which is the sum of weight. Sum of weight means we have to remember what are the weight for binary number system. Which is nothing but if I write before fractional part which is nothing but 1, then 2, then 4, then 8 then 16, then 32, then 64, then 128, then 256, then 51, uh, yeah, 508, 
5.2 then 1024 okay these are the sequence of number for this this part for the digit digit, digit part okay so these are the weight so i have to replace my 39 with the sum of this one that's why called sum of weight sum of weight these are the weight i have to write my 39 using this two using this value you see how i can write since it is a uh, odd number odd number means one will automatically come at my output because except this first term if i'll combine any number it will give me a even number 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 it will give me a even number and when there it is a odd number means my first value lsd it should present okay first value first means it should be one and if one value is not there i, I will write zero in place of that then how 39 can be written 39 can be written i can't use 64 it is much more than 39 so i have to use 32 plus if i add again 16 so 32 plus 16 it will give me a value 48 which is much more than 39 so i am not going to use this 16 value then if i use 8 then 32 plus 8 will give me a value 40 that is also greater than 39 so i am not going to use this 8 also now i will use 4 32 plus 4 will give me 36 that is less than 39 that's okay now this 2 if i add this 36 plus 2 which will give me 38 that's also less than 39 so i will add this 2 and last i have to add one so 32 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 36 38 39 okay now i have to using this weight i have to write my binary number so this is nothing but 1 0 0 1 1 whenever i am taking a weight i have to write a value 1 whenever i am not taking any weight that value i will write 0 okay so what will be my this binary number for this 39 1 0 0 1 1 with a base 2 okay is it clear or not i am writing my 39 in terms of binary with using the sum of weight let's take another number let's take a number any value you can say let's take 78 78 base 10 so i have to write this 78 using this weight okay now let's start from again from starting i can't use 128 because 128 much more than 78 but i can use 68 this is the value that can be used So 64, which will come at place. Then I can't use 32 because if I add 32 to 64, it will give me a value 96, which is much greater than this one. My addition should not increase, should not a value increase than this one. This value, the addition value should be less than 30, this value. Okay, so I am not going to use 36. I can use 16, not because if I eat as 16, it will become a value 80, which is greater than that 78. So I am not going to use sixteen. Eight. If I you add eight, it will give me a value seventy-two. Yes, I can add eight. Then for four, seventy-two plus four, that is seventy-six. Yes, I can add. The seventy-six is less than seventy-eight. Then I can add two. Seventy-six plus two is nothing but seventy-eight. Since this is a even number, that last digit will not come. Remember, since this is a even number, last digit will not come. And when there is a odd number, then the last digit will come. Okay. So this is the representation. So one zero zero one 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 zero. Whenever a weight is there, I I will write one. Whenever there is no weight, the I will write zero. So my seventy eight is nothing but one zero zero one 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 zero with a base two. Okay, but this seems a lengthy process or not? I have to remember all the weight. If suppose a heavy number is given, one zero nine six five four three eight. So for this a lengthy number is given so can i write this number using this weight i can but it will take much more time so that's why the second method that we are going to use that is the div division by 2 method we will use this two uh, problem to solve by division by 2 and we will check whether our answer is coming correct or not okay so what is the division by 2 method whatever the number that is given I have to divide that number continuously divide by two. If I divide these two, then what will be my uh, question? Uh, sorry, what will be the remainder? What will be the quotient? Which is nothing but eighteen to thirty-six, nineteen to thirty-eight, nineteen to thirty-eight, nineteen plus two thirty-eight. What is the remainder? Which is nothing but one. If we if we multiply these two and add these two, it will give me a value thirty-nine. Okay, two cross nineteen, which is thirty-eight plus one gives thirty-nine. This is the remainder part. 
Now, again I have to divide this 19. If I divide, I will get a value 9, two, 9 into 2, 18. I will get a remainder 1. Again, I will divide 2. 2 cross 4 is 8. Again, remainder 1. 2 cross 8 plus 1 equal to 9. 2 cross 9, 18 plus 1, 19. If I will divide again 2, it will give me a value 2, which is nothing but remainder 0. Because 2, 2, 2 cross 2 is 4. Then, if I will divide by 2, then I will get a value 1. 2, 1 is 2 and remainder 0. Okay. So you see, again, either you can stop over here. If you will stop, then you have to take the values from here to like this. Means you have to take this value and you have to end over here. Or, again you divide by 2. But what I will get? I will get a question 0 with a remainder 1. Okay, this is the method just by division. Now, you have to write from lower to bottom. I am sorry, lower bottom to top. Okay, so what I have to write? I have to write first 1, then 0, then 0, then 1, then 1, then 1 with a base 2. You can cross check 1, 0, 0, triple 1, 1, 0, 0, triple 1, base 2. Okay, when, when you will stop? You will stop when my quotient is 0. Okay. Either case question is 0 or you can stop over here. If you just, uh, uh, if you will not look this point, when my remain, this question is 1, we have, you will stop there. Either you stop there when my question is 1 or you will stop there when my remainder is, when my question is 0. When my question is 0, I have to take a value from the, only the remainders. I will take only the remainder. Or if you will stop over here, then I have to take this question values also. So better, this is the best method. Let's do only take the remainder. It is the simplest way. And we will stop when our question becomes 0. Okay. When this value becomes 0, we will stop and we will take the remainder from lower to bottom. I will write like this. Let's take one more example. Let's take 78. Sorry, uh, 71, 78 is there. If I will divide 2, then 2, 3, 6, 18, 9, 9 to the 18. What is the remainder? Remainder 0. Because 39 into 2 is nothing but 78. Okay. Now, if we divide 2, then 19 to the 38 with a remainder 1. 19 cross 2, 38 plus 1 equals 39. If we divide 2, then 9 cross 2 is 8, 18 with a remainder 1. If we divide 2, 2 cross 4 is 8, remainder 1. Again, if we divide 2, 2 cross 2 is 4, remainder 0. Again, if we divide 2, 2, 1, remainder 0. If we divide 2, 2, 0, this is 1, question 0, remainder 1. So here you see my question came 0, I will stop over here and I will write the values from lower to bottom to top. So what is the value? 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is nothing but the binary representation of 78. Okay. The same, that is the same answer that we got in previous case. So this is the way to represent a decimal number into binary. It represent a binary number from decimal. Okay. Either you do by sum of weight, if a small number is given, you can easily calculate. Suppose let's take a 1010. One, this is the number is given. Suppose let's take a 9 is given. So what is what do you mean by 9? 9 means I can't use 16. I can only use 8. 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. For, uh, then it will give me a value 9. So 1001. Zero, zero, one. So 1001 zero, zero, one means nothing but my 9. Okay. This is the number. Let's see now. Let's see the fractional method. How to calculate for the fractional values. For the fractional values also, the, these two same method will, will follow. That sum of weight means after the decimal, after the decimal point, what are the weight that are present? That is 0 0.5, then 0 0.125, then 0 0.6125 then 0 0.0312 like this values are there so suppose a number is given 75.38 anything it is given whatever it may be let's take a easiest one right let's add this to uh, if i divide 125 by 2 6 15 Six seven five. Okay, let's take uh, that point six two five. Let's take this point six two five. So this seventy five that can be done using the two previous method that we did. Either use sum of method or division method. 
Now we are going to use this SC 0.625 using the sum of methods. So 0.625 can be written 0.5 plus 0.125. If you we'll add these two, sorry, one value is the 0.25 is there. Now 0.125. So if I we'll add these two, 0.125, I will get a value 625. Okay. So how to write this value in decimal? Then this first 0.5 will come means it is 1. The next value it is not there means 0. Then the third value is there then it is 1. So it is nothing but 75. If you write whatever the value of 75 in binary dividing by any method. After that I have to add this 101. 101 means this uh, 0.5 plus 0 plus 125. Okay. So just you divide 0 0.5 by 2 means 0 0.25. 0 0.25 by 2 means if you divide 0 0.25 by 2 you will get 1 to 5. If you will divide 1 to 5 by 2 which is nothing but 6 is 12 uh, uh, 0 0.5 2 2 is 4 1 10 5 6 to 5 yes it is 6 to 5 ok so like this this is the uh, you can use this number. Suppose any any other number is there. 6, 2, 5, 8, 9. Anything is given. So if you see which number I have to add, then I will make this number. Therefore, the sum of word is a bit difficult to use. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to use this division method. So let's do this question with division method. Now, for this case, we are not going to divide, but we are going to multiply. In previous digit, digit case, we are going to divide. Now, for the fractional case, we are going to multiply. So multiply means 0 0.625 multiplied by 2. Whatever the value. It is 0, 2, 2, uh, 4, 5, 1, 2, 5, 0. It means if you multiply 0 0.625, I will get a value 1.250. Now this 1, it will take it will take over here. Then only what is remaining? It is 0 0.0, 0 0.250 with a value 1. If you multiply these two, if a digit that is coming up before, up before the decimal, then I have to take the digit over here. Then what is left? 0 0.250. Then you multiply 0 0.250 with 2, which is nothing but 0 0.5. So here there is no value, it will take a value 0. Then this is 0 0.5 into 2, which is nothing but 10. Means 1.0. That is 1. So this 1 will take an over here. So this is nothing but only 0, 0.0 is there. Okay. When this one wants, uh, sorry, this output, this value is even 0 over here, then I will stop over here. Then I will take the values from here to here. Means it is 1, 0, 1. So what is for the 6 to 5, which is nothing but 1, 0, 1. I was writing before here, it is 1, 0, 1. Some digit dot 1, 0, 1 with a base 2. Okay. You have to multiply that decimal part with 2. If a coefficient of 1 it is coming before the decimal but then I have to take that coefficient over here and what are the number that is remaining I have to multiply that number again with 2 and if nothing is coming means only 0 means I will write 0 and if here you can see here 1 came that's why I took this 1 over here and then, then I will write all these values to follow the after the decimal part okay this is the way that we can uh, we can convert our decimal to binary so this is a decimal number given using any two method we can Convert to binary. Now the last one let's see simple binary arithmetic. So by arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Here also in binary case we can use all these four operations. Means binary number can be added. How? If I will add 0 plus 0 it will give me 0. 0 plus 1 it will give me 1. 1 plus 0 it will give me 1. If I will add 1 plus 1 it will give these are the sum. It will add 1 plus 1. What it will happen? Here 0 will come and a carry part will come over here which is nothing but 1. What will be the addition of 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 means it is 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 1, 0. Don't read it as 10. 1 plus 1 is not 10. It is 1, 0. 1, 0 means this is the sum part, this is the carry part. Because 1 plus 1 means 2. 1 plus 1 decimal is, gives me value 2. And in binary decimal 2 means in binary it is 1, 0. Okay, don't read it as 10. 1, 1 means don't read as 11. Similarly, this is the addition of only single digit. Now, if I say what is the addition of 11 plus 11? What is the addition? 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 1, 0. 
1 plus 1 means 1, 0. So 0 will be the sum, 1 will be the carry that will be taken over here. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is nothing but whatever the summation of 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 1, 0. Again, 1, 1 would be add to this. So 1, 0 plus 1, which is nothing but 1, 1. So this is nothing but 1, 1. Okay. So this is the 1 plus 1, which is the summation of 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1, 0. That is 2. In decimal, that is 2. And if I add 2 with a 1, again I will get it. This value is nothing but 3. So if you see, what is 1, 1? Decimal, it is 3. In 1, 1, this is decimal 3. What is decimal addition of 3 plus 3, which is nothing but 6? And if you will see this 1, 1, 0, which is nothing but in binary, it is 6. How it is 6? This is 2 power 0, this is 2 power 1, this is 2 power 2. Means 4 plus 2 plus 0, which is nothing but 6. In binary, that is 1, 1, 0. Okay. Any number of digit you can add in binary. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. That is 0 is over here, 1 is taken carry over here. Then this 1, 0, 1, it will give me again 1, 0. Summation 0, a 1 will carry over here. Again this 0, 1, 1 gives me a value, that is 1, 0 again. So a 0 over here, a 1 over here. Now this 1, 1, 1, it will add, give me a value 11. Okay, 11, sorry, not 11, it's 1, 1. So what is 1109, which is nothing but 8, 4 that 12, 0 plus 1, 12 plus 1, 13. What is this value? 8, 2 that 10, 10, 1 that 11. How I am converting this? This is the 8, first value is 8, because this is 2 power 0, 1, 2, 4, 8. So 8 plus 4, there is no 2 term, so 8 plus 4 that 12, only last term is there, so that's a 13. Here it is 8, it is 0. And it is 1. So 8, it is 2. 8, 2 is 10. 10 plus 1, 11. So if I will add 13 plus 11, it will give me a value 24. And if you will see, this is nothing but, this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is 16. 2 power 3 is 8. Plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. If I will add 16 plus 8, you will get 24. Okay. So this is the binary addition of these two numbers, which is nothing but 11000 and we can cross check in our, according to our decimal number. So this is the binary addition. Just remember these four concepts and you can do anything. This 11 one one means this is the sum which is carrying, means I have to write 11 one, one one means I have to write 10. 10 means this is 0, this is 1, 1 0. Okay, this is the sum part, this is the carry. If only the another addition is there, then this carry will be taken over there. Now the subtraction. So 0 minus 0 means 0. 1 minus 0 means 1. 1 minus 1 means 0. 1 0 minus 1 means 1. 0 minus 1 means 1 with a borrow 1. Here borrow will come. Previous case carry was there. Like sim simple in decimal and uh, what we do in decimal addition and subtraction, like what the borrow and carry here is the same case. So this is the th these three are same. You know these three concepts. This ten minus one, how it is one? Because one plus one is nothing but one zero. So if I subtract this one from this one zero, what I will get? I will get this one. That's why this one zero minus one is nothing but one. How? Here I can't subtract this zero, this one from zero. So I have to borrow one from over here. If I will borrow that 1 to this pair, it will become 1, 0. And now if I divide this 1, 0 minus 1 means it will remain 1. Okay. So let's do one example. Let's take 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. This is 1 minus 0. Let's take this is 0. This is 1. 1 minus 0. And here it is 1. 1 minus 0, 1 minus 1 means 0, 1 minus 1 means 0, 0 minus 1, it is not possible, not uh, applicable at this time, so what we can do, we have to take a borrow from this nearing digit, so it will come over here, it will become 1, 0, so 1, 0 minus 1, which is nothing but 1, since that 1 left from over here, what is left, that is 0, which is nothing but 0 minus 0, now it is 0 now, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 1 minus 1 is 0, okay, so what is the 1, 1, 0, 1 in decimal part? In decimal, it is 8, 4, 12, 12, 1, 13. It is nothing but 13. And what is this? 1, triple 1, uh, sorry, 8, 2, 10, 1, 11. So if I divide 13, 11 from 13, I will get 2. So you can see my 1, 0, which is nothing but my 2. 
Okay. So every time you can cross check your answer with your uh, decimal part. So this is the simple addition and subtraction. Now let's see multiplication. It is a multiplication similar to same case as decimal. That is one cross one equal to one. Zero cross one equal to zero. One cross zero equal to zero. Zero cross zero equal to zero. Okay. How to do a multiplication in binary? If this is same similarly one cross one equal to one. One cross one equal to one. Then um, by partial movement one cross one equal to one. Then one cross one equal to one. Then we have to add these two. So this is one one plus one plus one. This is nothing but one zero. So zero that one is carry over here. Again this one plus one will give me one zero. So this is nothing but three. This is nothing but three. If I multiply three cross three, it will give me a value nine. And one zero zero one, which is nothing but eight plus zero plus zero plus one, which is nothing but nine. Okay, this is simple multiplication. Just we have to multiply with first value with this upper two, then we have to move one bit, then we will do the addition. Okay, and our division will be the same as the division in the decimal part. Division of this binary number is same. Just one by one is nothing but a value one. One by zero. If you take in decimal, that might give me a value. Uh, what? It might give me a value infinite. But here, according to our situation, we will see. Let's take a value one, one, uh, eight, nine. Let's take one, one zero zero one, and divide this value with eleven. Divide this one one with this one 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 zero zero one. So one zero zero one. I have to take first two digit. What is the first two digit? Which is nothing but one zero, and this is one one. So I can't use this. Two digit for this two digit, so I have to take a three digit because this value is bit higher than this two digit value. So I have to take the three digit. So eleven divided by hundred. Eleven if I divide eleven by hundred, what I will get? Eleven one ja means one one in one is nothing but one one. So this is nothing but one zero. How I will subtract? Then I have to subtract this eleven one ja eleven. Now I have to subtract. Zero to one means it is not possible to draw one value, borrow one value. It is not there. It will borrow from here. That is one zero. One zero minus one is nothing but one. Here, that as it is borrowed to this place, this is nothing but again one. So one minus one is zero. And here nothing is there. Zero, already one left. That is zero. Again, it will come one. This one will come over here. Now it is eleven. One one. It is eleven. One one. So one one cross one is nothing but one one, which is nothing but remainder zero. Okay, so what is this one zero zero one? Which is nothing but a value nine. Eight plus one is nine, and if this is nothing but three. So how this three can be done? Three, three is a nine, and if you we'll see this three is nothing but my question, which is nothing but one one. Okay, so our this operation is nothing but similar to our decimal operation. So this is all about for today's video.